Biomutants protagonists are little squirrel-like panda creatures, and players will get to create their own. On the surface, it looks quite basic, but there are a multitude of decisions players will have to make before they even step into the world of Biomutant. This news comes from the Japanese gaming website Famitsu, so all the images and information I'm using might not be accurate from the Google Translate. Just keep that in mind throughout the video. Deciding the race of your little squirrel is the first decision you will make. Each one will have different starting stats for your hero within the strength, vitality, intellect, charisma, agility, and luck stats. Unfortunately, these pictures don't show the stats of each race, so we have to go by the description to figure it out. There are six choices. Primal. I know this image says Primar, but the article it's Primal. Primal is an anthropomorphic species that develops agility. It is inferior in the development of wisdom as a substitute for that. There were no pictures of Rex and Fip, but apparently both specialize in the intelligence stat. So I would assume they lack strength and maybe agility as well. Marjul is present to manifest the kind of communication of the ideal, that evolutionary system we have made progress in a direction where farm and appearance prevail over function. I have no idea what that means, but the article says Marjul is balanced in all stats, but offers excellent charisma and bargaining power. So maybe not the quickest or strongest, but uses items and crafting weapons as a main playstyle potentially. Hyra is an anthropomorphic species that has the ability to reproduce. I'm gonna tell you, it is extremely robust and has high recovery power. Hyra will be for the tough squirrel players out there that want more HP. Finally, we have from the article, Damdons. I know what you see in the image though. Damdons is the first anthropomorphic species in terms of development. The seed derived from the mating is lack of spiritual power by physical strength. It is not the first time I've seen such a thing. Damdons appears to also be a strength race, but I would like to point out which might be rather obvious, but each of the races has a different appearance. That's because in Biomutant, when you change stats, you change how your critter looks. This is more emphasized with mutations, which is the next choice players will have. Mutations largely determines the initial basic parameters of your character, just like any RPG would do. But when you do it in Biomutant, you'll notice a big change in your overall look. Some examples would be increasing strength makes your shoulders wider, changing charisma makes your face smaller and taller, Increasing agility will make your limbs longer and give lower air resistance. And the best one with high intelligence will make your head bigger and give you smaller limbs. This is why in some of the trailers we have seen some horrifying looking characters. The mix of stats just makes them look so odd. But hey, the world has been destroyed and I don't think anyone cares what you look like. After you have your squirrel panda starting stats and look down, the next thing you need to decide is your tolerance or rather resistance. Players get to set resistance to certain conditions within the game, such as burning, cold, radioactivity, and biohazard. This choice will also change appearance of your right arm depending on the resistance chosen. So purple is radioactivity, green is biohazard, cold will probably be blue, and burning will be red. The next section is self-explanatory. It's the fur color and pattern. We don't see all the options, but we do see that there are tons of zany colors and patterns in Biomune. If this was a multiplayer game, the world would be filled with some of the craziest characters probably ever created. Arguably, the most important choice comes down to the last decision, the class. There's five classes to choose from in Biomutant, and each has their own playstyle, such as dual wield swords, guns, powers, etc., and have their own abilities. Here we have the Psy Freak. Psy Freak is a Psy ability and musical instrument, and we're going to test it out. Usually, they are outsiders who live in the corner of society. The translation on the ability is kind of not very good. Spark Pole shoots a spark ball, and the ability increases recovery of energy by 20%. I think it mixed in with the other ability here because it looks like there's supposed to be two. So I'm gonna guess one shoots a lightning ball out and the other ability might increase the regen of your mana. I personally can't resist powers in a game, so I might start with the Psy Freak first. Did I chose to live without being subject to laws and social norms? He is a man of skill <laughs> and skill. Crackshot, a non-automatic rifle attack that causes damage. The rest is cut off by the perfect reload ability, where your magazine is instantly reloaded and the next magazine increases damage by 20%. I think this could be a sniper-esque type of class. <laughs> Up next is the goofy looking sentinel. The description literally makes no sense, but the ability of toughness increases armor by 10. And I'm gonna have to say, this is probably a race that you're gonna wanna use if you like using one hand melee weapons, but I'm just guessing. The supporters, or saboteur as it is in the article, were trained in covert operations in both the suburbs and the wilderness. They are experts in the field. And you know those covert ops in the suburbs? Must have been crazy. But the saboteur is cool because it has twin size, kind of like from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which would probably make it my second choice just because of that. And finally, we have the commando, which I believe is what we see in most of the gameplay released so far. Commando is trained as a member of the special ops unit. The commando is well versed in the action of a small number of teams. His ability, Adrenaline, 
When HP is below 20%, melee attack weapons can be used to attack with increased 10% damage. Interesting ability, and not sure if it's actually correct. Now, there is a sixth class which has been causing a lot of drama around the game. The dual katana wielding mercenary. If you pre-order, you do get to use this instantly. Now, the official website does say it can be unlocked in-game. Here's the proof. But it also says you can buy it. So yeah, I'm not really sure how that's going to work. It's really kind of an odd decision from them. And I also think it's not in all the pre-orders. So if you do pre-order the base game, it doesn't come with it. Which doesn't make sense. But anyways, that's everything about creating your little squirrel panda-like anthropomorphic creature. Let me know down below which class you're looking at playing at the most. Again, with a lot of classes here, Biomutant should have a great replayability and experiencing the world in different playstyles. Stick around for some more videos coming up, and until next time, peace.